Hello, truth seekers. The solemnity of the Holy Trinity. That's what we just celebrated on Sunday. And I want to ask all of us to have a devotion to the Holy Spirit. Why? Because most of my life, I didn't even have a clue who the Holy Spirit was. I know that I had the Holy Spirit in me at baptism. I know that it was supposed to be released and on fire at my confirmation. Yeah, I, I, I know this now, but I really didn't know what the Holy Spirit was all about until I had the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, till I was baptized in the Holy Spirit, until I found this devotion and I speak and live in the Spirit every moment. This is why Jesus ascended and said to the apostles as we just celebrated this past Sunday, Pentecost, was, hey, it's better that I leave because the Holy Spirit will come down into you and give you the fire and ignite you so that you can evangelize, so that you can be sanctified and transformed. The Holy Spirit has done so much in my life. So as we look at the Holy Trinity and the third person is sometimes a real mystery, let's realize that the Spirit is within us that we should be praying to the Holy Spirit, calling on the Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come. Calling on the Holy Spirit in prayer to convert other people in the world, renew the face of the earth. We spoke about that a few videos, but it's really important. It's something that I really want everyone to focus on is calling on the Holy Spirit because you're gonna need those words. You're gonna need that charity for that person that you're not that fond of. You're going to need to love the people in your family who are persecuting you, who just don't get what is up with you in this God thing. Trust me, I know this. And by the way, while, I'm, while it's fresh in my head, I really hope that you subscribe to this YouTube channel because I only have 80 more people and then I can come live. And my first topic is going to be about how do you live your faith with everyone around you not living their faith? <laughs> there are so many people who have reached out to me and want me to talk about how am I doing it with my husband who is still not practicing, not going to mass, with my family, with my peers and my friends. Have I lost some friends? What do I do? How do I act? And that is going to be an engaging conversation and I want to do it live on YouTube. So please click subscribe and then click the little bell that's next to subscribe and make sure that you click all. It's the black bell so that you get notified whenever I come on my YouTube channel because you want to be aware of the live chat so you can come out and you can ask me some questions. I'm going to talk about a lot of things. You have all been so wonderful giving me some feedback, comments. Please, if you have a topic, a teaching, um, anything about deliverance, spirits, discerning of spirits, my relationship with God, a lot of you have, have asked for some of those, please put them in the comments. I will definitely take list notes and keep a list, I should say, so that I can come back and exchange differently. I mean, it's weird sometimes to just be talking to this camera. Thank you for engaging with me. And I'm sorry for some of you who have sent me emails and it took me a while to get back to you. I had like 1,600 that were stacked up and I'm, I'm doing my best to be better about responding. So know that I can get back to you quicker in uh, YouTube comments. And I know some of your stuff is a little personal and you're not all that fond of putting it like right there for everyone to read. But I also wanna say that we're all on this journey together. It's you, me, and all the other truth seekers. I mean, it's wonderful if you actually go through and you read some of the comments, join in on the conversation. Say, hey girl, I know, or hey dude, I absolutely know what you're talking about there. There are men and women from all over the globe that we all should be walking together with the Holy Spirit. So I also put in a video. I was uh, going and looking back at uh, tonight, actually. I'm recording this on Thursday. Tonight I have a Radio Maria show and we're talking about Eucharistic miracles. And I was going back to my videos from like two years ago 
So I'm putting my Holy Trinity Solemnity video. I used to, actually, I used to pay this girl to help me put these videos together, put like a beginning and an end and all of that. And then I'm like, I can't afford to pay her to do this anymore. One of these days, maybe I'll learn myself. But right now it's just, you know, me and starting and stopping, you know, the old unprofessional way. <laughs> Sorry, it's not like a, a true production for you all. I hope you're okay with that. But I did put my... Um, my description and my understanding of the Holy Trinities in this description. So you could look at that video. I've got a couple more that I'll share as we go through these next solemnities that will be coming up in the next few weeks. Okay, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, pour out your spirit in me. Light me on fire. Give me the words. Transform me. Make me holy. Come, Holy Spirit, come, so that you can, with God's help, renew the face of the earth. This is why the apostles were able to bust out of that upper room and go share the love of God, the sanctification, baptism, the true Savior of the world, Jesus Christ, with everyone. Oh my goodness, I can't even imagine what that was all about. Let's pray to the Holy Spirit. And let's find some devotions. You can find Holy Spirit devotional books. You can read about a lot of Holy Spirit books, The Seven Gifts of the Holy Spirit. I think there's Kevin Voss that's out there. There are plenty of Holy Spirit books that are beautiful and can help you learn what you have inside you through baptism and confirmation if you're a Catholic. But it's there. He's there. He's right with us every single moment. So let's pray to the Holy Spirit to light us on fire. All right, everyone, have a blessed and inspired week. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you. Bye-bye.